next deck that I'm going to show you is the Rider Weight deck. Now this is the deck that you see all in the movies. This deck has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years and is illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith. The deck and the art were sold through a couple different people and that's where it originally gets its name now, the Rider Weight deck. I could probably tell you a little bit more history on that, but you could just go ahead and Google it. It's a little bit of a... Yes, Kitty, it's a little bit more... T <laughs> it's a lot to say. So Kit Kitty, what? What? The Rider Waite deck is made up of Major Arcana and Minor Arcana. The Minor Arcana is based upon any card deck that you would play with, the 52 setup. It has hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds, except it's turned into wands, swords, pentacles, and cups. It takes a little bit to get used to, but don't be discouraged. Soon enough, you'll be doing readings on yourself and your friends with confidence. Most decks come with a guidebook to help you understand what the author and the illustrator mean behind their symbols. However, when you do a tarot reading, it is good to go with what your gut and how you feel the card should be interpreted. There are some cards that may be more scary in this deck than others. However, these cards have a wide variety of meaning. Could they mean death? Yes. But it also could mean a backstabbing that a friend might have done in your life. I do recommend using a guidebook, but it is more important to go with your gut when you're doing a reading. How do you think this card plays into their life? It is great to have an understanding what the author and the illustrator meant behind the deck, but also put in your experience and how you feel and your intuition when doing a reading. Certain cards represent different zodiac signs, so if you have one of these cards pop up in for a love reading, you know whoever you're reading for might have this particular zodiac sign pop up in the future. See what the cards are about. Pentacles usually represent business, Cups usually represent emotion and love. Swords represent communication and authority. And wands represent growth, inspiration. Each suit also has a different meaning. Swords represent air. Cups represent water. Pentacles represent earth. And wands represent fire. Now with getting a feel with these cards, a lot of people are intimidated because just the illustrations, some of them can just be quite terrifying. For example, when this card pops up in people's readings, they get a little nervous, they get a little scared. As you can see, it's two people literally falling out of a high tower. The tower's on fire, the tower's being struck by lightning, and these people are literally falling off of a mountain. It's not really an ideal situation. And when you get this in your reading, you might be terrified, but really this can just mean an overthrow in authority, okay? A change in government, a change overall, okay? It also could mean an eviction, a divorce, so it depends on who you're reading for and what the question is. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Also, hit that notification bell. I do a lot of live streams, and you can get yourself a free reading possibly in the future.